question from the Modern Divorce Support Group. I am venting here as nothing can be done, but the kid's dad has been particularly combative lately. These messages are in regards to school supplies for our three elementary school kids. He often goes around, he often does this around school supplies, not wanting to pay for any of it. He makes $120,000 a year and he's complaining about having to pay for 63% of our kids' new indoor shoes. I'm in green. So mom says, here's the receipt for the last of the school supplies. After removing the non-school items, the total is $195 and your share is $123. This combined with the school supplies brings me to the final total owed to me of $293. Dad says, I've purchased multiple pairs of footwear this year, most recently two weeks ago, which will work for school, but we were bought for a, but were bought for a function shortly after school starts. I'm not going to pay for additional footwear. You can remove that from what we owe. Mom says, you didn't tell me that you purchased the kids' shoes until now. Covering your portion seems fair. And then they go back and forth. Um, dad says, I'm not your credit card. Why do you get to spend unilaterally? Mom says, I paid for backpacks, shoes, lunch kits. I sent the receipts. You've had over two weeks to raise your concerns. The comments are wild. People are, people, some people agree with dad that mom shouldn't be able to buy what the kids need and then ask dad for reimbursement. I will tell you right now, this is my favorite aspect of our family wizard. This is, to me, as a divorced mom, this is the worst part of trying to figure out co-parenting with my ex, is figuring out who owes who what for what. Because we have four kids, you have three kids, there's a gazillion expenses. Some of them he pays for, some of them I pay for, then you got this running tally, then you have certain expenses that are disputed, and I love our family wizards feature because dad could go through here and decline his portion on the shoes. He could say decline and then mom, you can either take back the shoes or not. I don't know if your court order says that all shoes have to be split. Mine doesn't. Shoes is not something that we would split. My court order says that the things that we split are uniforms and you know there's there's quite a few things each person who wants to put in the expenses to ask for reimbursement can do that in our family wizard i don't like dealing with the accounting so i put in none i just don't want to deal with it and i'm happy to just pay for it if he puts something in and i'm not i agree that i should pay my portion then i just accept it and you can pay right there you can hit pay and it calculates your portion and it goes there and it offsets it against what the other person owes you. I think this is, to me, the most brilliant practical feature of OFW.